Hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, pen cases. Uh, this is another minefield. Um, there's just so many choices out there. Um, I started to look at, uh, uh, you know, the big branded names first, like Mont Blanc, Graffon, Faber, Castel, and Visconti. You know, the pretty well known in the marketplace for making very nice uh, pen case designs and uh, but I wanted to explore um, all the other options first because these are the premium brands uh, so uh, uh, today I'm just going to talk about some of the ones I've tried uh, all the different types uh, be it uh, flappered or uh, separate uh, cases uh, so I'm going to talk about a few and and hopefully I'm going to try and narrow down to uh, what how I ended up with my preference uh, there's a lot of uh, pen rolls as well uh, on the market, so these uh, are ones are made by cloth, and I I, I feel they're just a bit too, a uh, little bit clumsy. Uh, the pens are kind of cluttered together, uh, so it's not really for me. I mean, it's more for kind of coloring pencils and uh, felt tip pens and stuff like this. Uh, so uh, I tried a few, and uh, it's just not for me. And uh, again, we had the same with. Uh, uh, with the leather one, it's, uh, it's a slightly better quality, but again, uh, a, s a similar problem. When you have a, uh, a bunch of nice pens uh, mixed up, uh, up to 10 pens, uh, then it becomes kind of uh, cluttered and they're not really secured uh, in its case. This one has a nice little kind of zip pouch uh, to protect uh, the nicer pen, but uh, again, I still kind of felt like it was just kind of uh, having a bunch of pens. Uh, in one place uh, there are other types like pen sleeves so this is uh, made by uh, victual bags so it's uh, also quite nice uh, if you have one pen it also comes in three and five pens um, but uh, there are a lot of options available for pen sleeves which is quite handy I mean there's no zip or flap so you just kind of slide the pen in uh, quite nicely uh, here are some other ones that kind of uh, attached to your notebook it's, so if you have a hardcover notebook um, this is a, a this is a nice one to have um, it's by moleskin uh, so it has a side pouch and also you can put your pens uh, at the front here for quick access uh, again it's not for me it's uh, it's nice to to kind of use uh, one time but um, certainly uh, I won't want to use it too often uh, it, here's uh, another popular case uh, by Lamy uh, it's a two pen case it has a, mag a magnetic clip uh, so that's quite nice um, i'm just going to run into the video now as uh, this will probably narrow down to uh, some of the choices that i have just start this video so this uh, the first one you're looking at is the uh, uh, one pen pouch by lakeland uh, it's a pen case um, it is it is it's made of leather so it's uh, it's good quality it's nice and soft um it it, it doesn't take uh, oversized pens which is uh, part of the problem here um, so for me uh, for for the average size pen then uh, it's okay i think it's uh, it's nice to use and it fits well in 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 your jacket pocket um so yeah overall um as a case for about fifteen dollars, I think it's uh, it's not too bad of a value. Here's is the second one uh, with the Lamy I was telling you about. It's uh, with the magnetic clip, and uh, these are readily available uh, kind of worldwide. And uh, the only thing I uh, kind of dislike about this one is probably uh, having where where to clip the pen uh, uh, to the case, so either to the side or to the front. Um, so you you do have this this extra kind of stretching out of the clip, um, uh, and the mag mag magnets don't kind of uh, run into the clip. But certainly, uh, you could also clip uh, on the side, as I'm doing here now. Uh, that's also probably a little bit better. It kind of moves the the clips away from each other. Um, it all in all uh, for quick access and the secureness of the pen, then. Uh, yeah, it, it, uh, I, I kind of recommend it. It's also fairly inexpensive pen case, around the $20 mark. Here I have a three pen case. 
it's uh, it's, a, it's non branded uh, it's hard, it's a hard case uh, i bought it over um ebay and um also inexpensive um but it's it's well made it's uh, it's quite sturdy so this will probably have a bit more impact than the other first two pen cases uh, so if you kind of drop it or uh, put it on a, a stack of heavy books on top of it then i think your pen will still be okay in this case um, it has a nice uh, button clip as well so there's a uh, quite nicely secure um, it can take an oversized pen so this will fit uh, the one block 149 quite easily and uh, so I think um, this this has become uh, one of my uh, daily use uh, carries uh, so three pens um, it can get a bit uh, loose if you have a very small pen uh, but certainly uh, there, there are pros and cons with all pen cases here we have a a four pen uh, case by Wancha uh, Japanese brand uh, it has a little bit of a flap uh, over it to protect uh, the pens from sliding out um, so that's uh, quite handy and also to cover the uh, uh, the clip from damage here I'm just going to put some uh, pens uh, into the case now I think uh, uh, one of the largest pens the Monte Verdi Nabu uh, fits in quite easily so um, so you will never have a problem with the size uh, of pen so that's uh, one good advantage of this this is side uh, flap uh, on the left to fit a notebook if you uh, desire um, there's no uh, magnetic clip here or button clip it's just a slide uh, sleeve into uh, securing the case it is quite thick I have to say um, uh, it's quite thick but then certainly it's it's, it's of good quality uh, I don't think you can fit it <laughs> in your jacket pocket um, um, uh, for daily use uh, so I think it goes slightly beyond that free pen case now next one I have a five pen case by Galen Leather I think uh, this one is a zippered case uh, it's uh, again it fits uh, oversized pens so I'm trying here with Lamy Safari uh, uh, the Monteverdi uh, Nabu uh, the Monte Grappa uh, Fortuna uh, Lamy 2000 and uh, it zipper up quite well it's a little bit struggle towards the end there but uh, certainly it's uh, zippered uh, quite nicely it's nicely protecting the pens uh, you can also uh, drop this uh, and I think it would still be okay you know the pens are, are quite some distance from the edge of the case uh, there was some concern about uh, getting uh, the zip uh, caught up into your pens but um, it certainly has not been the case uh, with this one uh, for now again you can put in a side book uh, notepad if you wish here we have a, a 20 pen case now I did have some 10 and 13 pay cases but uh, we'll, we'll talk about a 20 pen case now this is by Waterman uh, it's a vintage uh, pen case I don't think you can buy this anymore uh, but certainly I like this uh, 20 pen case because you can kind of showcase quickly uh, all of your top pens if you uh, want to do that and you can make a, a choice of which ones you want to pick out to use so I, I like it for this reason and it separates into two sides of 10 pens and then you can there's a kind of felt cloth in between so the, the pens don't kind of rub against each other and uh, the, there is a sufficient gap uh, between each pen as well so you you're kind of well protected uh, on that front Again, it's a zippered case, so it's nicely secure. Um, so uh, it's it, overall, it's quite nice. Right, here we have a, a Galen Lever again. Uh, it's a six pen case uh, portfolio, A5 portfolio. Uh, it's, it's more designed to carry your notebook and other accessories at the same time. Um, so here I'm, I'm putting a notebook A5 size just for reference. Uh, and then there's uh, a space for four pens on the left and then two further spaces for two extra pens oversized pens if you uh, so uh, desire to put uh, two extra pens in so I think all in all you can put in uh, six pens uh, in total and you can take the flap out uh, on the left side so if you want to 
uh, examine the pens closer or you want to uh, adjust uh, which pens you put in you can also take that flap out so again it zippers up quite nicely uh, protects your pens and then you have your paper also in one place now again this is uh, also a preference uh, to size because it's uh, a, a getting fairly uh, getting fairly big now so um, uh, it depends on your preference so uh, for me if you are going for daily use um, I would say a three pen case is uh, more than sufficient um, but um, certainly um, uh, I guess my uh, preference for pen pick um, it's actually uh, uh, the, the pen case pick would be uh, the Galen Leather 5 pen zippered uh, why I've gone for this one is actually it's because it's slightly different it's it's kind of a statement piece uh, your free pen case is um, uh, quite standard so you your five pen and also in in this uh, uh, forest green it, it kind of stands out a little bit so that would be my uh, pick for today so if you uh, 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 liked what you've seen uh, hit the like button if you're not subscribed already subscribe uh, it helps me uh, continue to make these videos and uh, there's uh, no money involved so I just keep on making it for uh, to help uh, people out and uh, to give them the best advice and, uh, as best as I can uh, so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time